no story in the news is ever at a fixed point. It's continually evolving. And here in the BBC Newsroom, we're always trying to uh, sift through the information we've got, the information that we're expecting, and to establish what we do and don't know. But perhaps we don't always share that process uh, with everyone watching and listening to us. So we're hoping to show our viewers exactly the live feeds we've got, the information that we have at our fingertips, but also what we're trying to find out, maybe what we're struggling to find out too. We're also going to give a much more central role to the information and expertise that lots of people outside of the BBC are sharing. Sometimes with us, often they're just posting it online. And last but not least, we're right here, the newsroom's just down there, and as you'll know, there are many, many people here at the BBC who are fantastic journalists, have lots of expertise, they have a huge influence over how we tell the news, but they don't always appear on the television and the radio. So by positioning ourselves more closely here, we're hoping we can maximise what the BBC has to offer on any given story. And Ros, you might see a theme in these questions, but uh, what toys do you get to play with that we haven't got on Global? Well, let me show you, because this is, I guess, one of the tricks that we have on Outside Source. You could call it the world's biggest iPad. It's a brand new touchscreen which allows us to bring our viewers all the live feeds coming into the BBC and also all the latest information. Let me quickly show you some of the things we can do. For instance, on maps, we can pull up a map of anywhere in the world that's relating to a story. We can program it to show us the context, but then also to go as close into an area as we need to. So this is where we are in New Broadcasting House. And if people have been sending us pictures that are relevant to the story, as well as showing you on a map where it is, we can also just pull up uh, images that are relevant to it. We can also show people video feeds that are coming in and we can manipulate them. So rather than just showing them live, we can stop them, start them. This is from an earlier pilot of Outside Source. We can stop them, start them, we can magnify them if need be, and we can go back to the beginning again. So if we really want to focus in on some video, we're able to do that. And there are lots of other interesting things too. We've got a feed of BBC correspondents who are tweeting. So as we get updates from correspondents, we can immediately show you those on the screen. As I go along, we can show you live web pages. Uh, we've got a trending page which shows you what's uh, hot on Twitter at any point. A hashtag page which allows us to work social media into our storytelling. Perhaps most important of all, we have what we call the outside source quad. And that allows us to show all the feeds coming in from BBC sources and also from news agencies and ordinary people. Uh, we can show you what's at our fingertips and then we can pick and choose what we use to build up a picture of the story. So as well as having better toys than Global, you've got better kit and you're mobile as well. We're completely mobile. We've got a number of camera crews who can go all around the world's newsroom, up to the eighth floor if we want to, or down here into the newsroom, because this is the BBC Newsroom. It's where we broadcast outside source radio every day as well on BBC World Service Radio. And this means that we can get to the people who are working on the BBC's efforts to tell a story as nimbly as we possibly can. So if they've got something to say, they just have to walk up here. They're on set within seconds. And that means we can get the most up-to-date information to our viewers. That's that's the idea in practice. We'll see how it goes on Monday. I'm really happy for you, Roz, that you've got so much more that we haven't. Well, you know, <laughs> you've got a big studio, John. I've got a big studio, and Roz That's Atkins true. hasn't. Yeah, no, Roz is one. It's going to be great outside source. And I think it's really interesting that we do give people the sense of the sort of news unplugged about how we get it from the kind of wherever fields where something's happening onto the television sets. And Roz will be doing that uh, every day.